Hey y'all, salute to the people, it's the social forecast. So today is Tuesday, March 31st, 2020. Still in the thick of this social distancing, self-quarantine. Um, I got something I wanna discuss with y'all. I'm gonna make this one real quick because it's not really much I can do past just straightforward, bluntly stating the problem and what I see is really the only not even solution but resolution um, I did a video I did a, a vlog a while ago I did 50 vlogs um, I think within like a week the playlist is still on my channel um, it was from an MSN article that I came across titled 50 secrets it's okay to keep from your partner um, and what I did was I broke down each 50 of those things and I gave my perspective as to why it would or would not be okay to keep those secrets from your partner. Now, again, just to, just to uh, summarize really quick, for those of you who are new to my platform and, and, and don't really know how I operate personally, I don't believe, I believe there are virtually no secrets that are okay to keep from your partner. I think that if you have a partner, you're serious about a partner, especially if you're entering into that situation, you know, with a fresh heart, fresh eyes, you know, there really hasn't been many things to create tension or create space or problems in that relationship. Into that relationship with the cleanest slate possible, have no secrets, start truly fresh. Um, so having said that, one of the 50 things on this list of 50 things that it's okay to keep from your partner, per this MSN article, was what if you don't like your partner's friends, friend or friends? And, you know, the article went on to say, you know, that's something that you wouldn't want to tell your partner because you can create animosity or resentment or issues with that partner. Um, and, you know, your partner's friends is your partner's friends and everyone has the the right and the ability to have their own time and their own friends outside of the relationship. And that's 100 percent true, with the exception that, you know, if you don't like your partner's friends and there's a reason for it. I don't think there's anything wrong with. And if you guys want to go check out the video and that playlist. It's on my channel, so go check it out. And I would appreciate your feedback, like the feedback of this person who, was, who uh, commented, and I'm gonna get into their comment. So, this person commented and said, listen, I fully understand that yes, you know, you should be entitled to have your own time, your own friends outside of the relationship. It's healthy, it's a part of life. I have no issue with that. But what do you do when the reason you don't like that partner's friends is because they're actually not good for them. They're negatively influencing your partner. They're actually involving your partner in things that are either unhealthy or illegal or can cause trouble in whatever other ways. What do you do in that case? This person went on to say, I understand I can't just be like, okay, you can't hang out with these friends anymore. But at the same time, where does that leave me in that situation? And my, my response would be this. You're right. You can't just say, listen, you can't be friends with this person. People have tried and people have failed. And in those cases, yeah, you can just create a lot of animosity and resentment and tension in your relationship. But if that is your situation and your partner is actually in concert with some people who are negatively influencing and impacting their lives, which in turn, at a certain point, if it hasn't started yet, and if it just starts off at a, as a mild annoyance, at some point, the longer you are with that partner, those negative impacts on their life that those friends or that friend is having it's going to start to impact your life and then it's going to start to impact the relationship. This is just a natural occurrence of things. There's really no way to avoid that if that continues. But of course, you can't just tell another grown person who they can and cannot be friends with. But 
depending on how long you've been with that partner is I guess how I would start this off. If you're two months in, three months in, and you are noticing these things, you don't have enough of a standing yet or enough grounds to really, I feel, to really express your opinions and your thoughts and have it be fully respected. So I would tread carefully in those cases, take a little bit more time to feel it out. Once you feel comfortable enough with that partner or once you've been with that partner long enough to feel like this is now our lives and we're actually building something toward a future together because you know in the first few months obviously you're not even vested enough in a person to really even feel it's your place to start to make um steps towards giving advice that'll affect their life one way or the other and some people are, I guess, you know, it depends on the vibe. It depends on the connection. But if you're someone who's been with that partner for years, you guys live together, you're actually planning a future. You might have a kid on the way if you don't have one already. But at the very least, you're in a serious enough space that you foresee the next several years or decades with your life of your life with this person. Then it is your right. And I would also say it is your responsibility to express your concerns about that friend or those friends with that partner here's the thing though and a friend of mine a very close friend of mine actually pointed this out to me years ago um this is one of the most profound pieces of information that i've ever received from another human being and this is what i'm going to share with that commenter and anybody else watching this video who might be in that same situation you can provide the clearest and most concise and most wisdom-filled advice you can offer up the most in the way of clarity as far as insight and feedback to a person and it can be the most helpful to that person if they were to heed um, that advice but understand something and this is what was explained to me many years ago if a person is not in a, a space and time in their life and within themselves, if a person is not of the mental capacity to wholly accept and be able to realize the information that's being provided to them and why it's helpful and why it would behoove them to heed that advice, it's not going to matter what you say. It's not going to matter how genuine it is it's not going to matter how important it is to you for them to be better or to remove anything that's of negative quality or energy from their life because it affects the two of you as a as a unit it doesn't matter how much of that is true and it doesn't even matter how much that person may care about you because i think that's another mistake people make as well people think that if a person is not willing to take your advice or willing to heed what it is that you believe is right for them people can confuse that as does that person really care about me and that's a different issue it's a different discussion but it doesn't necessarily mean that that person doesn't but if a person's not in a space and time within themselves and if they're not in a space and time in their life where they want to make changes for their life long term it doesn't matter what you say and it doesn't matter how real it is they're not going to be able to accept it. And that's just a natural part of, unfortunately, a natural part of the process of life for us as individuals, that those of us who are willing, ready, and able just have to come to realize. So voice your opinions, state how you feel, express your concerns, but understand at a certain point, you may have to make the decision to either leave that situation if you feel that those influences are negative enough that they will eventually spill over into your life, your happiness, and your peace, if not, let your partner be and figure out what they need to in time. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. I don't pretend to know everything. I just know what I know. It's the Social Forecast, the realest channel online. If you're not subscribed, you're out your fucking mind. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.